Hey everyone, in this video we are going to use the ThirdWeb React SDK to build an automatic network switcher so that if someone connects their wallet to your Web3 app but they are connected to the wrong chain or the wrong network, the app will automatically prompt them to switch their wallet to your desired chain. We're going to do all of this using the ThirdWeb React SDK in a Next.js TypeScript project. Currently, 71.4% of people who watch our Web3 videos have not subscribed to the channel. So if you've taken away any value from what we're doing, can I ask just one small favor? Hit that subscribe button and join the 29%. Each week we are going to be airdropping a very special and rare third web NFT to 10 subscribers. Let's take a look at how we're going to build this automatic network switcher inside a Next.js project. To get started, I'm going to create a new app. So the easiest way to do that is npx um, third web. This is the third web CLI. And so npx third web at latest um, and then create. It's going to take me through a little bit of a flow, um, which we'll see now. We can choose between an app and a contract. I'm going to select app and then I'm going to call this project network switch and I'm going to create a Next.js app and I'm going to use TypeScript for this. Um, so you can see here that um, it is busy generating this, this project. And once it's built out, and there will be a few things that are really important to note. One really um, important thing is that if you are not um, starting from scratch, so if you've got a pre-existing project that you want to build this functionality into, the, the, then you obviously don't have to do this, uh, this NPX third web create because you will have your own app already existing. You will just have to install the third web um, SDK, the third web react SDK, um, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then you will have to use the third web provider in your app as well to give your app all of the magic of third web. Um, but I will show you that all in a second, but I just wanted to note that if you are building this functionality into a pre-existing app, you can obviously skip the step that we are currently um, busy with. Once the, the app is built out, we're going to point out a few things. We're going to get it running locally and we're going to see the third web provider. We're going to see the um, really cool and beautiful third web connect wallet component, which comes um, pre-built in, into the app. And um, so it's already there for you to use. And it's a beautiful UI component that easily allows a user to connect and disconnect and just manage their, um, their wallet connection to, to your app. Um, and so that's really, really cool. And then we're going to use a few of the third web react hooks to build the automatic switching functionality. And um, so we're going to detect if there is um, a mismatch. So we're going to see if the user is connected to a chain that we don't want them to be connected to. And if they are, then we're going to prompt them to um, connect their wallet to the correct chain. And um, so now that the project is built out, we can start by CDing into the um, network switch project. Um, and then we can get it running locally. npm run dev and in localhost, you can see that it comes with this connect wallet button. It's automatically set to 100% width, which is why it's so wide, but we can change that in a second. This connect wallet button is really, really cool. Um, it allows me to connect my MetaMask wallet. So this is a wallet um, that I already had connected here. Um, and uh, then once I've got it connected, I can copy the address. I can switch to whichever chain I want to switch to. I can switch accounts as well within the wallet and I can disconnect the wallet as well, um, which is really, really nice. And of course, the same would work for a Coinbase wallet or um, any of the wallets that uh, Wallet Connect um, supports. So let's just reconnect with MetaMask um, and let's go back to the code to the project. Um, the two really important things which I mentioned before, just to point out again, is in the app.tsx, and the third web provider. This gives all the context and all the third web magic so that we can use all of the hooks um, in the rest of our project. And of course, it has to be imported from the third web React SDK. So if you aren't starting from scratch, if you're integrating this functionality into a pre-existing project, then this is the place for you to start. Um, you would start with the NPM I um, or just Yarn and you could install the third web React SDK. And once it's installed, you can use the third web provider to give all of the magic um, to your whole app. Um, the other really important thing here is that the active chain ID needs to be set to whichever chain you want your app to be active on. So if you want your app to be interacting with the mainnet, then you would leave it as is. This is how it comes and um, pre-built automatically set to mainnet. Um, but for this video, we're going to change it to the Mumbai testnet 
Um, and again, this is just a really cool thing from Third Web, makes it super easy to build, tells your, your app which chain it needs to be interacting with. Um, and of course, this is also the chain that it will be testing against. So when we check, is the user connected to the correct chain, then this is the chain that it will be checking um, as the, the correct chain. The other really important thing is an index.tsx. This is the connect wallet component. Um, literally just one line. It's a simple component and um, really easy to use. And it gives you this, uh, this connect wallet button. Um, let's start just by making that a bit smaller. So let's add a style um, over here and we're gonna add a width and we're going to set that to 250. Um, and then we can go back and see the wallet, the, the connect wallet um, button is a little bit smaller. With that out of the way, we can dive into actually building our switching functionality. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is just import a bunch of hooks um, that we will need from the third web React SDK. Um, the first one that we'll need is the use um, address hook, which gives us access to the connected wallets um, address. We need the use network hook, which will allow us to use the switch network to, to prompt the user to switch the network. And we need the use network mismatch hook to check if there is this mismatch. We also need the chain ID um, so that we can tell the switch network which chain to prompt the user to connect to. Um, and with that, we are ready to start um, building. Let's set up some variables to um, use each of these hooks. So const address is equal to use address. The um, switch network is going to look like this switch network and this is going to equal to the use use network hook and then we're going to have the is wrong network variable to check if there is this network mismatch so if there is a network mismatch if the user is connected to the wrong chain this variable will be set to true now that we've got our hooks and we're ready to use them we're going to implement this functionality in a use effect so we need to import use effect from react so from react and we're going to import use effect and um, okay great and so now let's just add a space over here or a new line over there and we can build the use effect um, hook over here. Um, and so what's gonna happen here is that we're going to say if it is um, the wrong network, then we want to switch the chain. So we want to say switch network and we wanna switch the network to the chain ID dot Mumbai testnet. Um, and so because this is TypeScript, I have to also make sure that the switch network is defined. Um, so switch network um, and so if we've if this is the wrong chain and we have a switch network then we will be able to switch the network to the um, to the correct chain that we want um, that we that we wanted to be connected to um, and so we want to do this whenever the address changes um, or there is um, a change in the uh, switch network or whether or if there's a change in the um, wrong network connector um, and now we can go and test this functionality in our app. So we can go over here and as we can see, we are connected to the Mumbai um, testnet. But if I switch it to um, another chain, uh, firstly, it's gonna ask me to switch to the other chain. Great, switch network. And then automatically it prompts me to switch back to the Mumbai testnet. That works really, really nicely. And that's really, really great. Let's just test it out from the MetaMask wallet itself. Um, let's just switch to the connected account um, and going to switch to the Ethereum mainnet. Um, and this doesn't work as well um, because as you can see, the transaction kind of got stuck in MetaMask. So if I click on MetaMask, it prompts me to switch back to the Mumbai testnet, but it doesn't work as well. So there are a few small um, user experience changes that we're going to make. Um, we're going to firstly change the color of the button if we are connected to the wrong network. Secondly, we're going to display a short message over here prompting the user to switch to the correct network if we are on the wrong network. And thirdly, we're going to delay this switch network transaction and um, by just a, you know two seconds to so, so that the, the transaction doesn't get, so to speak, stuck in, in uh, MetaMask. So let's make each of those three changes. Um, firstly, the color. So you can see that the color is controlled over here in accent color. Just for um, an example, let's change this to um, navy just so that you can see. Um, and you can see the color of the connect wallet button has changed. Um, and so let's make this, let's go back to our original um, nice pink. 
and we can make this um, dependent on whether or not we are connected to the wrong network. So if we are connected to the wrong network, then we want to make it a gray color. So let's make it um, a grayish color. Um, and then if we are connected to the correct network, then it will still be this nice pink that we have. And um, so that's the one change that we're going to make. And the second change that we're going to make is we're going to add this little prompt um, that's going to suggest that the user switches their wallet. So if there is the wrong network, then we want to display um, a little message and we want to say, please switch your network to the Mumbai testnet. Um, and if it isn't, then we can do nothing with that. Um, and then these are two really nice, just very simple UX changes so that if I can connect my wallet again, um, I'm connected, of course, now again to the Mumbai testnet, but if I were to be connected to a wrong network, then, uh, sorry, let's just connect that. I'm gonna switch there. Um, but you can see the button goes gray and it prompts me to switch the network back to the Mumbai testnet, which of course I can do here and the transaction is ready to go. Um, but uh, let's add the slight delay to the switching. So we're going to wrap this in a set timeout. So I'm just gonna cut this out of there for now um, and we're going to do a set timeout. Um, and this will delay the prompt to switch the network by just two seconds. So set timeout, I'm gonna paste the switch back in there um, and gonna make this a two second delay. So let's go back to our app and test out this functionality. I'm again connected to the Mumbai testnet, as you can see there. I'm going to switch it over here to the Ethereum mainnet. Um, and with a slight delay, it pops up this transaction, means that the transaction doesn't get stuck anywhere. Um, and I'm automatically switched back to the Mumbai um, testnet. So just to go over again, what we did, we imported a bunch of hooks from the third web React SDK. We have used these hooks to get the relevant pieces of information, the user's address, the switch network function, and also the um, whether or not we are connected to a, a, a an incorrect network. We've used a use effect hook to prompt the user to switch the network. Um, and we've set it to a slight delay so that the transaction doesn't get stuck anywhere. And we've made two small um, improvements to, um, to to what the user will see. The user will see an, a, a gray color for the connect wallet button if they're connected to the wrong network, as well as a prompt um, to uh, to switch them back to the, the correct network. Um, and again, all of this is made possible by the third web provider, which gives us the context for all of these hooks and all of this third web magic. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and also join the third web discord. And um, the third web discord, you can find at discord.gg forward slash third web. Um, there are thousands of builders there and you'll have access and the ability to speak to all of the third web team, the support team, the software, the smart contract engineers, um, and, and the whole team is there. So join the discord, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and can't wait to see you in the next video.